Hey guys, so a lot of you have been asking how do we make the cloth material and I'm just gonna show you now. So this is gonna be a quick little video. I'm just gonna show you how I made the cloth material and it's really easy. So I've just set up a scene here. It looks like this. It's the scene from the last tutorial and we're just gonna create a redshift material. So just a standard redshift material. Then we're gonna go into the material. First of all, <laughs> we're just gonna put it on our plane up here. And then we're gonna go to the material, set the weight reflection to 0.6 and the roughness to 0.6. And then we're gonna crank up the translucency to one. So now we have some light cloth that the light can go through. So the first note we're gonna make is the Fresnel node. And if you don't know it, you can press Shift C and it will bring up the search menu. So we're gonna search for Fresnel. And here we have it. So in the Fresnel, we're gonna set the index of refraction to 0.7. And we're gonna set this value to 0.15. All right. So if we bring this into our surface, we can see it looks like this. So this is the fresnel we're gonna use to make our silk cloth. And if we just bring the material in again, we're gonna make a ramp. So remember, Shift C, search for ramp. So put the fennel inside of the ramp. So inside the ramp, we can press load presets and we'll take this sky free preset. So you can just go ahead and delete the two first points here. And then you can make a point right at the beginning and make it black. All right. And then you just have to push it out a bit like this and you're all done. So your ramp should look like this now. So, the next thing we're gonna need, let's just make some space here. So the next thing we're gonna need, Shift C, a color correct node. So put this into the input and put this into the diffuse and let's make a little more space here. And let's also put it into the emission color. So the reason why we created a color correct node so we can control the color with the hue shift. So let me just make a color apps, then go into our color ramp, take this color, press on the hex icon here and copy the hex code. Then you also go in here to your color apps and paste the hex code. Then we can take and duplicate our color correct by pressing control. And we can put our color apps into our color correct. And this we can put into our translucency color. All right, as you can see, we're getting a great result already. So now we can control the color by just typing some numbers in. I will type 100 and 100, and then we got this color. So maybe 150 and 150 over here. Yeah, so we get this orange color. The last thing we're gonna do is make some displacement because we need some micro details. All right, so create a displacement and put it inside of the displacement under output. So I have actually created a texture for you that's free in the description. You can get one free texture and you can buy the pack of five cloth textures for one dollar. So uh, please go and check that out. So I've just imported the texture here in uh, Cinema and we're just gonna connect it to our displacement in the texture map input. But why aren't we displacing yet? Well, it's, it's because up here on our plane, we need to have a redshift object tag on it. And the object tag, we need to go under geometry 
and check the override, check the tessellation button and the displacement button. And for this cloth, I found that 25 in the scale was the perfect number. So I'm just going to open up my shadow graph and render graph again. And then, as you can see, we are, we're getting a little bit of displacement now, but we want some more. So I found that a number of five was good for this scene. As you can see, there we have it. So it's so easy to create these cloth materials. And if you buy the pack for one dollar, you can mix and match between all the five textures. So you can get some really different looking cloth effects. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, stay rendering.